Good morning, fellas. How are we doing? Does it get much better for breakfast than a candy apple and a watermelon monster? I don't think so. You know, I think that's pretty much the peak. You know, that's where we're at mentally. So how are we doing today, fellas? Good morning. Good morning. What's up? What's up? What's up? Hopefully we're going to get ourselves a nice shiny cow today. Blue, preferably. Um, I do have some. I have a lot of Pokemon actually to collect which I'm really excited for. We did like an hour and a half, I want to say, of flipping yesterday on stream. And look at this. Our shiny Golbat sold like literally that day. We have a bunch of stuff here that we can collect. And I want to do more flipping today. Honestly, it's, I don't even have that many pages of Pokemon. Only around five pages of Pokemon selling. Actually, not that much. I've had much, much more in the past, like 10 pages plus. I also want to keep an eye on safeguards i was gonna say i bet that someone undercut me and yeah there's a bunch that have undercut so that's okay that's just gonna happen i'm kind of just listing them i'm not gonna like take the listing down or anything that'd be a huge waste you want to just list them see if they sell see what happens and then if the, if during the event they do pop off they'll be worth a lot more so we'll see how that goes Entei is coming in four days fellas we're almost there we're almost to the fire dog and take comes the 1st of October? Yes, that'll be the next rotation. So the way the legendary dogs work is they rotate monthly. So right now in the wild in Johto, as long as you've defeated Ho in the Johto storyline, you can encounter Raikou randomly as a single encounter. I have guides covering all the details on these hunts as well if you want to check those out. Um, what's my favorite dog? Probably Raikou, Raikou or Entei. I'm just not a Suicune guy. Um, probably too much of a hipster, which is not good, but that's, <laughs> that's my reasoning. Too many people love Suicune. I'm probably a Raikou number one, Entei number two. I think NK, Entei's moveset and, like, competitive play is very interesting. I think Entei is the most likely to be lower in the tiers, and that interests me, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I actually recorded... So, I recorded a troubleshooting guide to Gillen's Encounter Counter recently, and I feel like I actually have a pretty good perspective of the way the... the program functions. For instance, I can actually go ahead. I'm going to pop a Lepaberries. I'm going to cover four i'm gonna try to cover three of the names or some amount of the pokemon names and watch this do you see that did anybody see that so because i covered three of the pokemon's hp bars it actually just didn't track those pokemon into the encounter counter but it did track the two hp bars that it shown so you can actually manipulate like what it tracks and how it tracks because essentially it counts the pokemon by seeing the green hp bar and that green number so if you block that it won't track it in so there's like little tips and tricks like that like some people will think that their encounter counter is not working because they'll be like GTL flipping while shiny hunting and that blocks the HP bars. So you can't see that. So I'm excited for that troubleshooting guide to come out in full. There's a lot of really cool tips and tricks like that in it. Yeah, I'm actually no longer going to be doing gym runs from, except for the I'll do um the red refight rerun and that'll that'll be it. But I'm no longer doing gym reruns from this point until Rich's Charms get reintroduced into the market because they're just so expensive right now. Rich's charms are so expensive. Um, I can go ahead and show you guys. I'd rather just go flip or breed for profit. Like Rich's charms are what, 75K, 72K a piece. I went ahead and just sold all of my Rich's charms. And so instead of doing my gym run every day, I'm just gonna use that capital and that amount of money to do flipping, breeding for profit and other stuff like that. That is just gonna be, make me more money per hour as well as uh, way more interactive and, and interesting versus a brain dead gym run. The brain, the brain dead gym run is nice sometimes, but like, for example, I think yesterday I made like 2 million Pokean expected profit. Um, wait, we actually sold some 2012 mons. Holy shit, which I didn't realize. This crappy was a 2012 mon. So we actually successfully flipped at least one 2012 mon. That is actually awesome. Because this was a 2012 one times 31 IV, wasn't it? That's actually incredible. Um... So yeah, I'm gonna be taking a break from gym reruns. Right now, you can probably make around 280k. Like, obviously, a little bit more if you do a better, a bigger and better run. But like, I can make. Yesterday, I made two million Pokey and expected profit in an hour and a half of flipping. Why would I do my gym runs right now? What if if I have if I have the game knowledge, the understanding, and like all the experience to be able to do flipping to that extent? It's just kind of a waste, you know, to to do um to do gym runs. So yeah, I'm gonna switch to better methods that. I have the capabilities of doing. I've always just done Jimmy runs because they're so easy and just brain dead and they're good to do on stream and build habits and stuff, but I just, I'd rather do flipping and stuff right now. What's the probability of getting a double shiny in a horde? I don't know the math. It's something, it's something like one out of one billion. It's something like ridiculously, ridiculously rare. Um, 
I've only ever seen someone actually. I think someone put up a fake screenshot recently on Reddit. Um, that was it was like three shinies in one horde, but I'm pretty sure it was fake. Pretty sure it was proven to be fake. Um, I've only ever seen two shinies in one times five horde, or actually one was in the times three horde. I've only ever seen that twice. I've played this game for ten years. I've only seen it twice. I have seen real screenshots of someone getting two shinies in a times five horde. I don't even remember what the Pokemon was. And I, I know for a fact, I went to see this in game, in game, I saw someone get two shiny Shinxes in a times three horde. That was really insane. Two shiny Shinxes in one times three horde was fucking crazy. Um, that was the, one of the most insane things I've ever seen. That, yeah, those are the two that I've ever seen. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, Gooby, I am pretty excited for 40k subs. 40k is pretty cool. It's not, it's nothing crazy. I think the, the big milestone will be 50k. And then after 50k, I don't think there's really anything until 100k. And that's always been my goal. I think my, my goal, my end game goal on YouTube has always been 100k subs. And that would be a crazy thing to one day get. Best red shiny? Easiest question ever. Rampardos. Yeah, it's it's shinies like Cast Form, Ketleon. What's the other one? Cast Form, Ketleon, and like Farfetch'd. These like rare, undesired shinies. And there's 37,000 encounters, by the way. 3701 specifically. It's coming today, fellas. I'm feeling good about this blue cow. What are you shutting after the blue cow? I've had this question a couple of times and like, I, I don't really know. Like, obviously I have a massive list. I have a massive, massive, massive list. I think my video for remaking my shinies to hunt list uh, is coming out soonish. And then a couple, maybe like a week or so. Um, I have a massive list of shinies I do want to hunt. I'll probably go to something like Dratini, maybe Larvitar, and like do more Johto shinies. But I literally, I just need to do the, the mil, I need to do the cow. I need to get the mil tank first. It's been such a, I'm not convinced I'll get it before another rat. Like I, I need to finish this hunt before I can even think about moving on hilariously. In the power of the holy cow and all mil tank milkers, we pray for a shiny mil tank in the next hour. <laughs> New copy pasta unlocked. My Halloween preparation guide, my Halloween event, it's like general for Halloween, no. My Pokemo Halloween event preparation guide, I think is scheduled for October 3rd at the moment. So keep an eye out for that. Yeah, I'm really curious to see how fast Shiny End Table did found. I, I feel like it will at this point. Like, Raikou was found within like what felt like six hours of it being out. It was insane. I feel like Shiny Raikou was found so fast. Um... Yeah, I can't, dude, I am, Entei is going to be, I'm excited to see how fast it comes. That was just nuts. It's, it's mind blowing to me that we've received, but we've seen both a shiny Suicune and a shiny Raikou, but we never saw a Shaman. Obviously the Shaman hunt was more difficult. I get it. I get the arguments, right? But like, I don't know. It's still shocking to me. Like, I don't know. It's still shocking to me how quickly Suicune and Raikou happened, but Shaman never happened, even though you have like two weeks or whatever. I, it's just kind of crazy. Is your sm Smeargle called Soaky? Yes, because it's my Soak Smeargle. But I could understand how that would be a red flag. I'll get Shiny Shaman next year. No problem. <laughs> Thanks, Mishu. I appreciate it. People are speculating the Shiny rate of the Legendary Dogs is easier than the normal Shiny rate in terms of rate. That would be... Like, I believe it. Based on... But, I mean, we don't know yet. That's obviously insane speculation. But it's super interesting. And I think there's a there's validity to it, at least, to, like, consider it. I wonder if that's a quick question we could just like ask the devs and like get quick information and confirmation on. Yeah, fuck. The easier rate is one out of 29,999 as opposed to 30k. True and real. That's how that's how easy the devs are on us. There's been like three or four shiny Raikus. Yeah, I know. Like how dude, how nuts? That's what I'm saying. Like that's cheese Louise, man. There's no way there's been 90 to 120k Raikus caught. Yeah, that does sound kind of well. I don't know. That's a good question. How many Raikus have been caught overall, do we think? How many Raikus are on the market in general? Such an interesting speculation, dude. Um, I don't know. We do. I mean, we do see 155 Raikus just on the market right now. Um. Well, no, but there's no way. 100k caught? Let's say that maybe 1% of players sell their Raikou. Even then, it's like, I, dude, I don't know, maybe like 10%? That's that's a nuts. That's so interesting. It's very possible that just a couple people got really lucky. You know, this is all, this is like, this isn't like data, right? This is like very, very, very like minuscule amounts of anecdotal experiences. Like there's been like five Raikus or whatever. Like this isn't like a, a controlled environment. So I do want to highly, highly preface 
there's no reason to assume it's any different until we actually see like proof of it but it's it's interesting to say the least in my opinion to at least talk about and consider you know what maybe the raid is something different or maybe it's interesting because yeah it's just it's nuts how many shiny right through there's been you know it's all speculation absolutely i think it's important to qualify and it's still it's interesting to have the conversation there's no harm in talking about it but yeah it's just interesting i don't want to assume anything is reality or assume anything is different uh, until obviously we see the the conclusion of it or confirmation from the devs but it's super cool it's super it's a fun it's a fun discussion how many shiny sweet coons were found I want to say two, one or at least one, obviously. I feel like there was two. Someone could correct me. I feel like there was one or two. Only one shiny Suikun was confirmed. Okay, that is a pretty big deal. That's maybe Raikou was just insanely lucky. I. That's super funny. Only one is there wasn't as much time to avail compared to Raikou. That is true. Everybody was still like completing the storyline and stuff. That's a huge deal. Like. People had way more time. Yeah, most were still do doing storylines during Sweet Coon. That's super, super true. Way more people had the storyline done and such by the time Ra uh, Raikou finally came around, which is interesting. Absolutely true. It wouldn't surprise me if we don't see a shiny Entei at all this next coming month. RNG can be weird. That's absolutely true. It's very, very possible that, yeah, maybe Raikou was just super lucky and we see it even out a bit with Entei. You know, I, I don't know. It's hard to tell. Your Discord have the best alerts, man. Your community have done a great job. I fucking appreciate the compliment, man. I do really think, like... My Discord, not to shill out for my own stuff, but like, I do think my Discord genuinely, like if I was a player, it's so useful. Being able to sign up for Fino pings to be able to complete my Pokedex and not be stuck on things like Audino, Ducklet, etc. to complete my Pokedex for like Mount Silver, that would suck. Avoiding that by signing up for Fino pings, you can sign up for whichever pings you want. If you want to be pinged, there's no pings on by default, which is also really important to me. I really hate when I join a Discord and I get pinged like every single day when that content creator goes live on, on stream or something. That's like really annoying to me. You have to sign up for the stream role in my thing to get pinged for that. You have to sign up for everything. You know, you'll never get pinged unnecessarily, which is like a huge thing to me. Um, but you can, if you have the want the option to, sign up for Finos, sign up for Alpha Swarms, make some Pokien, um, sign up for normal swarms. Like I generally think signing up for these roles in my Discord can be a way to make more Pokien, save you time. It's actually like a pretty damn good resource. And it's it's really managed by a lot of my, my mods. My mods really deserve the love and the credit for my Discord way more than me. I don't I honestly don't handle it nearly as much as they do. Um, and it's it's a really cool tool for for any type of Pokemon player. Maybe this is just pure copium, but I feel like my shiny RNG is going to even out over the next coming months. Right, guys? Copium? Like, I've been this dry with donator status and charms and stuff consistently for, like, so many hunts in a row. Um, I feel like it's going to even out. Right, guys? Copium? I'm going to go on, like, a lucky spree and get, like, three shinies back-to-back -back below 10k encounters. Right, guys? Copium? All bad things come in threes, Pat. You're due one more rat before the cow. <laughs> It pains me that you might be correct. Yeah, my RNG evening out. Dude, how fucked? If I get two shiny rats in one encounter, I would be unbelievably cursed. That, I would actually just, I think I would quit shunting. If I get two shiny rats in a horde before a mill tank, I think I actually just quit shunting forever. That's a sign being sent down from Arceus, being like, dog, <laughs> it's not for you, man. Just stay away. Just stay out of here. Save yourself. And your shutting experience, what's the highest phase you've reached? I haven't been phased too many, like, in times in one spot. Because I switch around spots so much. So, I'm on my third phase here for mill tank. On third, I have two rats. I'm on my third phase at Trubbish as well. I got the wrong shinies there. Um, I've phased one or two times. Or I guess three. I don't know if you count three as, like, I'm on the third phase. Um... I've phased two times at multiple hunts. Two phases at Weezing, yeah, at Muck, Grimer. The issue is, I. what happens is, I phase twice in a row the wrong shiny at, at a 50-50 spot, and then I just leave that spot forever, uh, terrified to go back. <laughs> I feel like that's what happens over and over and over again. Um, so we'll see how Miltank goes with that. I'm trying to stick to it, but uh, we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. Um... I haven't phased that hard, but I know my, my overall shiny rate is really bad. Um, I did it a while. I calced it a while back. I think if you Google, like, how lucky is Petrowski or something, or, like, what's my shiny rate, Petrowski or whatever, um, it ended up being something like 1 out of 34 or 1 out of 35,000 
as an average rate over like 25 shunts and now that is that is including my extreme usage of donator status and shiny charms so my all-time rate being being like pretty conservative my all-time rate should be somewhere around one out of 28,500 one out of 29,000 it should be something like that so to be like 5k away from that average after 25 shiny hunts is pretty is pretty brutal that's a pretty brutal set of data to look at i just realized you still didn't get an egg shiny ever and seen the hatching animation Co technically correct my crinidos was a fossil shiny so i've never seen the hatch animation pop up out of all the eggs i've done out of all the 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 one of the craziest shiny stats of mine is i have done Dude, I have done something like 500 to 600,000, I believe. This might be overestimating. Maybe it's half of that. It's some disgusting amount of single encounters. I have done a disgusting amount of single encounters hunting for a shiny, including fishing encounters with Whalmer and stuff. And I have only seen two single encounter shinies, one of which being my Shuckle and the other being a fucking rapidash my only other single encounter shiny was a fucking rapidash hunting 16 hours a day during shiny wars um and i ended up getting a rapidash at like 63k encounters or 40 something like that um dude i have yeah i am so dry when it comes to single encounters i do this thing where i do like 80k encounters of singles and then i fucking um go do hordes for two hours and immediately get a shiny and it happens every time and it's so painful one day i'm hoping it evens out over time uh we'll see i think 2024 is going to be an exciting year for shiny hunting for me fellas hopium copium to the moonium guess on how many eggs you've hatched in total like for shunting breeding for profit etc nothing crazy eggs specifically i mean definitely over 30k i did around i did most of my crinidos encounters were eggs i think around I think around 6 to 10k of the encounters were fossils. So let's say 8k out of the 32k were fossils. That leaves me with what? 24k? Is that the math? Right? Eggs? Just for Cranidos. And then if we do the other stuff that I've done, I would bump it up like maybe 5 to 10k more. Um, I've done a lot of... I've done a lot... Breeding extravaganzas and stuff I used to do. Um, we'll bump it up 5k. We'll play it really safe. I've, prob I've probably only done around... I would say 30,000 eggs total, maybe. Well, I don't know if you count bike MMO as well. That's a whole different... There's, It's so hard to... How do you count 10 years of breeding, you know? If you count bike MMO, I've done a, a bunch more. Like, easily... At least a couple thousand back then. I would say somewhere between 30 to 35k eggs in total, which is, honestly isn't that crazy. Um, however, obviously, all 3,200 Cranidos encounters were done on Shiny Charm and Dono, making the rate 1 out of 24,300, which I was well over. That's actually what I... I actually fully agree, and I'm, I'm hopium to shit on this, Kiroshi. You're going to do single encounter hunts in the future and get back-to-back -back rares, Pat. Trust. I, I, I agree. Hopium. I believe it. It's coming. Soon. True. Pat, you're complaining about your shiny luck when you got a shiny on 100 encounters. I've also gotten a shiny on 300,000 encounters, Dry. I think when you say like oh you could never complain about something ever again because you've gotten lucky once i think it's a really bad mentality i think i've been i've been overall in my shiny hunting career wildly unlucky it's pretty bad now i'm not going to sit here and complain about it and just not do anything that's some baby shit right i'm going to go hunt i'm going to keep doing my hordes i'm going to keep popping off i'm going to put hours and hours and hours into it now occasionally am i going to say damn man i hope it evens out over time yeah, I'm going to do that. But I think I'm pretty good about, like, I've been wildly unlucky, wildly lucky. I've had the full spectrum. I love my shining career. I wouldn't change anything about it. But something that really frustrates me is when I see this a lot on, like, shiny hunting videos or if I bring up someone else getting a shiny. Somebody said this about Mist recently, and it really tilted me. Some people will try to invalidate other people's experiences with their own, and it's really cringe to me. I remember someone recently on a Mist video was like, oh, Mist, like, Mist went five phases for Dratini or whatever, and he was like, oh, Mist is actually really lucky because I went, one time, I went, like, 100k dry on a shiny hunt, so he should actually feel appreciated. And it's like, dude... That is so weird. It's so weird to try to compare your experiences. The only response ever, if someone tells me in chat, hey, I'm 30K dry on a shine, I'm like, you know what? I hope you get it as soon as possible, man. 
Um, if someone says, hey, I'm 60k drawing a shiny, you know what, man? I hope you get it as soon as possible. No matter what, they, like, just wish the best for people, right? It's so weird to, like, make this weird competition and try to, like, invalidate other people's happiness and emotions over shiny hunts. It, it's very, very, very weird. Um, imagine just because I've been 300k dry once, imagine if every single time someone said, like, oh, man, I'm having a really hard day. I'm 120k dry. It's been a really rough hunt. Like, I'm really getting demotivated. I was like, huh, well, you're only 120k dry. I've actually been <laughs> 300k dry. And it's like, dude, what a fucking cringe thing to say to another human being. It's so weird. People do that stuff. And it's just, it's just jarring to me. It's crazy that I have around 37 thousand total encounters in brilliant diamond shining pearl and i have almost a box of shinies including shit like melodic but in pokemon Mo, i just hit 37k dr last night and i'm still dry on my first shunt what a what a hilarious that's an awesome depiction of like the difference of shiny hunting skill and level between traditional pokemon and pokemon Mo. the fact that 37k gets you a full box of shinies including rare shinies yet in pokemon Mo, you're dry and have nothing that is so interesting uh, and now it's nighttime in game, so I actually have to switch up my hunt. So, uh, let's go over to Dratini for the last seven minutes of this charm. Thanks again to Apenbag for it. Dude, watch me phase on a- Could you imagine if I go to the next location and phase on a Magikarp? Could you actually imagine? It's just time swap words. In in reality, it's actually not that big of a deal. Like going dry, going crazy dry, getting crazy unlucky on time swap hordes, unironically, not even that big of a deal compared to like egg hunting and stuff. Like it's actually just unironically, no copium, not that bad. Think about it, Pat. Ever since Cranios, you've been getting red shinies only. Is that true? I'm trying to think of I've had is it because I've only had three rats post Cranidos? Is that the only shinies I've had? I think that might be true. Um, we got another charm popping in. Oh shit, charm from Aben Bag. I was gonna stop hunting and go make some Pokien, but dude, fucking honestly, let's just full send. Today is clearly every like conversation has been around shunting. Every like we've gotten a shiny. Today is a shunting day. Let's full send it. Fuck it, fellas. We have a Boja on charm now, dude. She literally has the be she's the best shunter in Team Mister. Best RNG. Every a Boja's never been over 20k dry, I believe. And she has like five or six shinies. I think six now. Unbelievable talent and skill difference. Rename him to Smiley Face. I don't know if I, maybe, can I? I would love to name him Smiley Face, honestly. I don't know if I can type that. Yeah, you can't, you can't do colons or parentheses, no symbols. Wait, that's fucking hilarious. I didn't even, I, did, I didn't even see it in chat because I was distracted. Apparently missed already redeemed channel points mid shiny catch to rename my rat. So... I think the name that Mist has decided on is League Players. <laughs> so uh, forever, forever, for now on, this fail shiny third rat will always be known as League Players. There you go. Self-loathing. He actually kind of looks like League Players. <laughs> Average League Player. Full send. Mishu sending a straight up care package to support my shunts today. I love the love balls. Those are really cute, man. Thank you. Give me a, a Pikachu tail, Dream Ball, some Expert Lores, and a Shiny Charm. Thanks, man. That was a really, really nice little care package. Thank you, thank you. Okay, daily shit food take. Uh, some people might consider this a shit food take if you're basic and boring, but the unbelievably Giga Badoof, big Giga Chads out there will understand that this is the best take. Nacho cheese Doritos are the worst Dorito flavor. They're still good. All Doritos are fucking horror gamers. We loved our Doritos and Mountain Dew. I know, it's cringe, stereotypical. I fall into it. I know, I agree. But nacho cheese is the worst flavor. They're still good, but they're the worst flavor. And the best Dorito flavor by far is the sweet chili. The purple Doritos, it's not even close. It's not even, there's no debate. There's no discussion. Cool Ranch is probably number two. Very, very, very good. But come on, man. The spicy sweet chili is just one of the best chip flavors. One of the best flavor combinations that could be created by human hands. That might be the least shit food take I've ever given. That one's actually just reasonable, but we'll see what happens. Wait, that's really funny. The last Team Mr. Shiny right before my Shiny Raticate was a Shiny Mill Tank <laughs> from Techno, which is so ironic. That's actually really funny. Hey, let me see the, the news post. Let me see. Fuck this meme. I'll get it up on stream in one sec. Dude, when Team Mister puts in like high effort to do these like meme news posts, I love it so much. Look at this. 
This is me getting my third rat in real time. That's that's so good. No way, the third rat. What's up, barrels? It was bound to happen. I was destined for it. Protect your family and pets from rats. Warning, like the <laughs> the like fucking fuck animal control. We need to help eliminate your rat problem in this area. I'm just collecting the rats. That's incredible. That's a funny looking cow. That's one way to say it. Trade offer. Pat, I give you 120,000 encounters. Pokemon Mo, I give you three shiny Raticates. Deal? Question mark? That's literally what's happened. Oh no. Here's a good little tip slash trick. Things like Ocarinas should never be more expensive than RP. Is it... Is an Ocarina 200 RP? Okay, quick little tip. So you could buy two 100 RP vouchers for 240k, right? So that's 480k. Or you could buy a Fly Ocarina for 500k. Never ever buy a Fly Ocarina for 500k when this is the situation. You are wasting money. It's so dumb to do this. What you want to do is go buy the 200 RP. You save 20k. It's just 20k, but like it matters when you buy so many Ocarinas or stuff like that. Like you should never be buying an Ocarina. For more than RP price, just buy the RP. You save money. Um, yeah, just always double check with items that are tied to RP. Their value is inherently tied to RP, so you always you're always able to um, check it via that. So yeah, save that money. Thanks again to Avon Bag for the shiny charm. Here it is, wearing off. We're at, back to 1,300 encounters already. That's how fucking good times five hordes are, man. They're so sick. Thanks again for the charms, Avon. Uh, we're going to, I guess, just keep shunting. I might take a little bit of a break and head back to the PC. Maybe do a little flipping. Maybe grab that Pokey in and just kind of... We'll take a small break. We'll finish these uh, 22 encounters, but we'll take a small break here in a sec. A little breather while we're while the charm's down. All right, quick little break. Let's go ahead and finally collect all this Pokey in. I know people have been wanting to see it for a while. Off to these Wobbuffets are going to get put in the mail, but that's okay. We'll claim all 2.8 million Pokey in. You love to see it. A solid start putting us back to 5.2 mil i might do some more flipping let's go ahead and collect the gifts we've been given this stream very generously um thank you mishu we'll see what's up um am i lagging oh yeah i was lagging okay quick little break i'll see you guys in two minutes dude what the fuck is happening that's kind of insane how cheap this is dude mage staffs Damn, not looking good. I I, I love this vanity. I kind of feel bad that it's this cheap now. This vanity got to like seven to eight mil during the event. And now people are like panic selling years, like two years later, for like 600K. That's crazy. It's a good vanity, but that's kind of, damn, that's brutal. Okay, another flip, 80K for that Empoleon. That was definitely a flip. I, I feel like I remember that one. Or actually, that might have been a Pokedex breed. I'm not sure. Anyways, Yen. Imagine switching out my Fletch Shinies from like a Shuckle and a Rampardos to Triple Rats. <laughs> oh, wow. What the what the world has come to. Interesting. Let's move this over. Let's get my full shiny box sorted and looking nice. What goes here? My Spinarak? Yeah. My spinner rack. Move over to shiny. Uh, and then it was this order, I believe, in terms of chronological. I'll have to double check. Back cedar. We've got Rat Trousty, Back Cedar, Lead Player. These are the new. I that was my thirtieth OT shiny, which is kind of funny. All male as well. Yeah. That. Wow. Insult to injury. Holy shit. That's actually so funny. Them all being male is not good, which is very funny. Interesting. Huh. Well, we keep going. I have an urge to go like single encounter shunt somewhere and just hope to get lucky because of how stupid this rat situation and like have it the RNG flip flop, you know? Wait, that's actually fucking Giga Chad, Tom. Let's do it. We're gonna go Johto. So I'm. F this is how my mental is destroyed. Just kidding. Let's go. Let's go Johto Safari Zone, and go for like Lapras or something. Wait, that's Giga Brain. Holy guacamole. Um. Yeah. Let's. Fuck it. We ball. 
Petrowski luck engage. Okay, I'm either gonna get crazy unlucky or crazy lucky. Let's see what happens. Are there eradicates in the safari zone? Keck W. Don't you fucking say that, you monster. Is this the Lapras spot? Is it this? I don't know where where to hunt in here. I think it might be here. Here's the Lapras location. I think it's um it's like a 20% chance for Lapras here, I think. That might not be correct at all. Um, but it's a really cool spot. The meme is Shiny Lapras is, all, is obviously a wildly unlikely catch. Like, so hard to catch. Yeah, imagine going from 120k dry for three shiny Raticates into a fail shiny in the Safari Zone. <laughs> if that happens, I'll take it as a sign. So Rocky Beach, my second trip. This is the this is the Lapras spot. There's also other locations that have some good encounters, but I'm not super... I don't know if I remember correctly. All right, we've got good meme on our hands, fellas. Barrels sent me this and said, I made this for you, Pat. This is called Pat's Cheddar Pokey MMO Raticate Ad. The shadow. <laughs> so dumb. face seriously strong it's like a cheese ad that's the meme that's so fucking thanks barrels good meme i should just leave it like this like up at, on stream at all times the, so people can you don't have to ask hey pat what's the what new shiny did you get there you go see see the torment for yourself you got a third one Jack w the wholesome thing about the rats the positive swing is that Eradicate was actually my first ever competitive Pokemon that I ever owned in Pokemon back in like 2013. Um, so there's a little bit of sentimental attachment there. The move pool for that shot, that 2013 competitive Eradicate was like Hyper Fang, Crunch, Super Fang as well, and like Iron Tail. <laughs> it didn't have like Flame Wheel, it didn't have Guts, it didn't have like all the cool shit. What are you looking for in this pond? This is the best spot in the game now with the Johto update for shiny Lapras hunting. Even that's 20% chance for Lapras and it's in the Safari Zone. So it's a rough chance you catch, but it's 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 still the best way to go for it versus like a, other option is egging, which is obviously brutal. Wait, Bastard actually did fucking call it earlier. He said that bad things come in threes. Wait, he actually called it. Also, it's about to be daytime, so we can leave the cursed Safari spot and go over to uh, back to Miltank very soon. Let's go get our cow, ladies and gentlemen. The rule of threes is over. I'm officially allowed to be lucky. It's almost 4 a.m. We've got our Kadabra. Let's try it, fellas. Let's see how it goes. We're going back to the mill tank spot, fellas. We'll redeem ourselves within one stream. I'll never forget, when I first started playing Pokemon, I played 1,200 hours within three months. I was obsessed. I played 400 hours a month for three months, and I was just so sucked into the game for like the first 12 to 1,500 hours. And then I definitely got burnt out and took a huge break. And now I'm back at around 6,800. A little like 7,200 if you count alt accounts again. Thanks to Helenor for the charm. I super appreciate it. That's a good question. What's your what's your rat breaking point? How many rats before you leave? I think the, the real answer is I don't know. Um, maybe like five? But I don't know. You've used half your levels already. Yes. Um, I actually genuinely don't know when that... We'll have to, we'll have to just see when it happens. If I get like four or five Raticates, that might, like five might be, I don't know. I really want Miltank. It's really the number one shiny that I want right now. I don't know. We'll see. Is there a way to turn off team notifications? I don't want to see a bunch of notifications of people reconnecting and stuff. I don't know if there is. That'd be a really good update. I'm not sure. That'd be a really good, like little quick quality of life, quality of life thing to just disable reconnecting messages in general. I keep getting this question, which is kind of confusing to me. Now that you have three rats, would you use any of them as shiny breeders or still not worth it? Using OT shinies as breeders is never, ever, ever, ever. At that point, you're just selling an OT shiny for, for Pokeyan. There is zero reason to consume two OT shinies to create one when you could just buy a shiny off the GTL, breed with your OT, keep OT, 
and you're just consuming Pokean versus a shiny. I have so many videos covering this topic, but generally OT shinies are so much more valuable than Pokean because they're less guaranteed, they take longer to get, Pokean's way faster and easier to get. There's a bunch of videos covering the math and stuff behind this. There's logical arguments, there's emotional arguments, there's a lot of things. Um, but yeah, breeding two OT shinies together is never, ever, ever good. You should never be doing that. Um, pretty If you want to, I guess, go for it, but it's just like, in terms of, it's just logically and efficiently not good at all um if you want to sell an ot shiny i think that's fine I, I don't like doing that i recommend it personally i think most people regret it but for some people it is the optimal path and that's totally fine um but yeah breeding two ot shinies to create one is like pretty much never worth it whereas at least selling ot shinies is sometimes worth it um you're almost never gonna have it was with like the breeding matchups like you're never gonna have the perfect breeder or like another ot you have like it's better to just um it's better to just buy the perfect breeder on the GTL for like two mil or whatever that like fits all the stats you need perfectly and the nature versus yeah risk it on like an okay-ish breed. Yeah, that's a good that's a, that's a good question to talk about and explains. So I don't think it's talked about enough. The reason why pickup isn't in Sinnoh or doesn't work in Sinnoh is because it wasn't, for my understanding, it wasn't implemented into the main game or like into platinum, I assume, I guess. I guess. I don't even know. I would guess that's why. And then the reason why it's not an easy thing to fix is they'd have to go through every single route and add a drop table. They'd have to go through every single route in Sinnoh, every single Pokemon, every single species, and add a drop table to those routes for pickup, for the pickup ability in Sinnoh. Um, and that would take so much time. Like, and then like, is that worth it to add pickup in Sinnoh? Like, arguably, yes, and it should still come someday. Um, but it is, it's a lot, you know? I actually think Fracture is like one of the most underrated, one of those like underrated uh, middle evolution shinies. I don't know if there will be one on the GTL. Ah, there's not. It's such a good shiny though. Google it. It's it's actually like Fracture and Pupitar are two of my favorite like underrated middle evolution shinies. That's kind of a cool idea. The idea of missing no being like an event boss. That's kind of cute. I don't know what they would maybe like uh, that feels like an, uh, like an anniversary event sort of thing over a Halloween thing. But I don't know, maybe kind of spooky. It's kind of cool. It's a cool little idea. This guy's name Chicken Wrap. That's kind of an awesome username. Good news, Pat. I just checked, and you only need one more shiny rat to be tied for the most rats on Team Mister. You are so close to being number one shiny rat hunter. Ah, uh, yes, the goal I was going for this entire time. Alrighty, but that encounter is gonna put us at five hours stream today. A really healthy stream, a lot of fun times. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the background content while you guys shiny hunt yourselves. We got our third shiny rat today, which is, uh, yeah. Uh, make sure to like the stream <laughs> if you enjoyed it. Dislike if not. Subscribe to the channel, the YouTube channel for daily Pokemon videos. I do upload every single day. Twitch is for streams Monday through Thursday at 12 p.m. ET. Monday through Thursday, four days a week. My brain's fried. Discord down below if you're interested in that. If you want to go above and beyond and support the content, if it's been helpful to you or entertaining background content, YouTube memberships, Twitch primes, Twitch subs, and PayPal slash Venmo does help out a ton. Sit around on stream for the Twitch raid, and I'll see you guys later. Have a great day. Peace, Areno. Hey, thanks so much for watching till the very end of the video, and thanks to everybody whose name is on this list. You guys go above and beyond and allow me to make the content that I do. So thank you so much once again, and have a great day.